guys, it's me, Anna, and my little trusty sidekick, Mookie. Today, I want to give you my period survival guide, but for me, honestly, the answer was to just not have my period. If you're taking ibuprofen or Advil when you're on your period and you're still in pain, that is not normal, and that is something that happened to me. Like, I had very painful periods leading up to the week of my period. I wouldn't feel well. Then when I was on my period I was in horrific pain when it was over I needed like a week to recover and I often would get sick while I was on my period because it just took such a toll on my body a lot of women don't have that experience but a lot of women do because of how I was raised and brought up I thought that birth control was like a chemical abortion I really wish that I would have taken birth control sooner because I think that it could have been a really good thing for me these are just my opinions like I'm just sharing my opinions if you think something different let me know down below and feel free to share what you think and I don't represent all women a lot of period survival videos don't even touch on birth control I've talked to so many women that don't know that you can use birth control to stop your period and some of these women are women that have estrogen dependent illnesses and they could have really benefited from that information because their periods are causing some serious hardship in their life that they don't need to experience and there is the other side of the conversation where some people feel that it's very important to go through the full hormone cycle some people believe that it's important to go through period cycles and to not use birth control because periods do affect your hormone levels and your hormones control your thyroid if you have a normal period it may be very beneficial for you to have that natural cycle it's not the same as when birth control is used to balance out hormone levels that are off or when birth control is used to stop really painful periods that are bad. I will find some links down below and link them for PCOS, middle schmerz, and endometriosis. I'm not a gynecologist and I don't want to list off too many symptoms. I want to make information available but I don't want to persuade people in any direction if that makes sense. But I don't know. I thought it was very normal to have super painful periods. I didn't understand what birth control was used for aside from, you know, to not get pregnant, but it can be a very powerful tool for a modern woman who wants to take control of their lives and not suffer from really horrific periods. You know, I just remember that when I was having my periods, I had such bad cramps, like no one even wanted to sleep in the bed with me, not even my dog. I did use these heated pads and I'll try to find a link for them and put them down below, but they are for stomach cramps and they basically go inside your clothing. That way you can have constant heat where your cramps are, even if you're not sitting somewhere where you can have a heating pad which was like so important especially if I needed to go to work or something like I had to have that it kind of saved my life really the point of this video is that you don't need to buy a whole bunch of stuff to survive your period if you feel like you're just surviving your period maybe you need to stop having a period I totally think that a lot of women are on birth control obviously but I have talked to so many women that don't know that you can use it to stop a period I'm always surprised by that because that is like the number one reason why I'm on birth control. I was talking to a friend and the birth control that she's taking doesn't stop her from having a period and it actually made her cramps worse. A really big issue for me was getting rid of period cramps. That was the key thing that I did not want to have. So I just like can't even imagine taking a birth control that doesn't stop you from having a period and only protects you from getting pregnant. But I think that some of these birth control controls are promoted because actually shearing part of that uterine wall and having a period to flush it out does protect the reproductive health of the uterine wall and it makes it easier for you to carry a child and 
to go through childbirthing, but I feel like it's the 21st century and my physical well-being should be put above my reproductive ability. That's again just my opinion. If you don't agree with me, feel free to let me know down below what your opinion on that is, but I feel like every woman should really be empowered and own their body and feel like they're the ones making informed decisions about their health. If you're not informed about how birth control really works and no one has told you that you can use it to stop having a period, this is something that has to change. Like I would love to be able to have an easy peasy period my, like my sister does. My sister is fine. She doesn't feel like she needs to stop having one. But if I had to have a period every month, I would have maybe one week of my life where I felt like good and happy and healthy and the rest of it was totally hijacked by the hormone cycle and the cramps. I can't even imagine going back to that. Please let me know down below what your period is like, what you've used to get through it. I would really love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I know that I don't say it often. I don't know, there's something about that that doesn't feel totally genuine to just be thanking people all the time for watching my videos, but I do really appreciate all of you. I hope that you're having a great day and if you've hung in here and watched this whole video till the end, you might as well give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Bye!